Call her law, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Yahweh Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully elect and sincere Akiyam, pushing this word, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. This JMS Plain Tables Camp, located here in the city of Philadelphia, back out here another week to prophesy the downfall of this abominable and evil kingdom to help wake the elect up who have been scattered through the four corners of the earth, mainly here in the Americas, who are the so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled birds that reside in other nations that look like the other nations come from the seed of uh, Israel. To you, we say Shalom. And also a, a hearty and, and healthy Shalom to the 144 the elect men of the, of the 12 tribes of Israel who's going to be the next rulers in, in the kingdom to come under Yahweh Shah and King David. So, uh, judgment must happen to the, uh, the degenerates of our nation. And it's prophesied in the scriptures, you know, that two thirds of our people was going to be cut off and die for worshiping idols, you know, being complete reprobates and not caring about Yah Bashim Yahweh Shah. So uh, we're gonna start off with 1 Peter uh, 4 and 17. Yeah. 1 Peter 4 and 17. Yeah. 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 Because there's repercussions for, 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 for being disobedient and, uh, and not humble. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, the book of 1 Peter. And we uh yeah. Four seventeen. First Peter four seventeen. And it reads it says, For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the of the most high. Then if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them? that obey not the gospel of the most high judgment must begin at the house of the most high and the house of the most the most high consists of the children of yasharala which, which is the the negroes the so-called negroes the west indians the haitians the dominicans the guatemalan command uh panamanians puerto ricans the cubans north american indians seminole indians the argentinians to Chil chileans the colombians the uruguayans and the mexicans Judgment is going to begin at, the, at this house right here for their, for their disobedience and not following after Yahweh Shai. And the scripture speaks about two thirds of Israel is going to be cut off and die. Zechariah 13 and 8. Yeah. So when you look at a pie chart, because when you went in, in school, in elementary school, they teach you fractions. And they start off with a pie chart. And two thirds, two parts of a whole pie is a, is a large number. So a large number of these men, women, and children are going to get dealt with via thermonuclear destruction or concentration camps or pestilence or famine, some kind of way or one form or another, these people on this sign right here is going to face judgment uh, real soon. Yeah, this uh, book of Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 8, mm -hmm. and it reads... And it shall come to pass that in the land, that in all the land parted, saith the Lord Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Here, that, that part of land is America. Right. But the third shall be left therein. No, the third shall be left in. So one third of Israel is going to be brought through the fire. One third of these, these men, women, and children is going to be brought through that destruction. Go ahead, read. Time. Uh, and it says, and I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried and they shall call on my name and I will hear them and I will say, it is my people and they shall say, the Lord Yahweh is my power. And that's what the men of the Lord have been out here doing on the highways and the byways. Uh, educating the people on who the Lord's true name is and who, who the Lord's true son name is and who we are as a people. So that way we can be uh, delivered from those sad perils. Now we can go to uh, Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, and start at the top. This is uh, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 9, and verse 4. And it reads, And Yahweh said unto them, Go through the midst of the city, 
through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for and all abominations. And, and Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. Through, through, through the midst of the people. Through the midst of these people right here. It says set a mark on, on the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of them. Read. Yep. Uh, and that mark, you go into that word mark, it's, it's the wild. It's a mark, a mark of exemption from judgment. Read it again. Yeah, it's uh, Ezekiel chapter 9 and 4. It says, And the Lord Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the sea, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh in the, and that cry for all abominations that be done there in the midst thereof. He set a mark the wild on the forehead of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. What's, the, what's an abomination? Homosexuality is an abomination. Fornication is an abomination. Worshiping other gods is an abomination. Uh, murder is an abomination. You, you looking out in our communities, throughout all these uh, ghettos in, in America, those crimes are, are prevalent. Those, they, they, they're happening at, at a high rate. So the men of the Lord are out here in the highways and the byways, and we, we educating our people and telling us to uh, refrain so that way you can get the mark of exemption on your forehead. Real quick, that word abominable means a detestable act. Uh, something worthy of shame uh, and death. Uh, a, a detestable act, you look at it, you're disgusted. Uh, uh, it's worthy of shame, ridicule. Uh, you notice how Esau takes the shame out of society by justifying the, the wicked acts that you just mentioned. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, they do the reverse. Uh, if you're against that, you're the one that they shame. Uh, you're the one that's ostracized uh, or casted out as opposed to the opposite, which proves that this man is totally in opposition to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, the scriptures say, woe unto him that call evil good and good evil. All right. Continue reading out. Yep. Uh, it continues. Uh, it continues and, and reads. Uh, it says, Verse 5, Ezekiel chapter 9 and four, 5, it says, And to the others he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Yeah, to the others, the, one that, the ones that don't have the mark of exemption. Go ahead. Let's read, read it out. Read it again. Yeah, because it says, uh, And to the others he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him. Through the city, I don't know if you have a copy of this, but I and smite, let not your air, your eye spot spare, neither have ye pity. Let not your eye spare, you neither have pity. But the main part Read. is uh, this right here. Uh, verse 6, it says, Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children, and women. Slay utterly old, young, maids, and little children. So the Lord is not a respecter of persons. If you all here, you commit an abominable acts, just that the Lord you know, is going to uh, so put you to death. Like, like, well, facts and things of that nature and find uh, what you want, yeah. want to bring it out. It says, um, just having a brother necessarily look it up. You got but binder, come not near right any to, man yeah, upon I got, I got a binder whom house. is okay. the mark okay. and okay. begin at my sanctuary. Yeah, come not near any man that has the mark and he begin at his sanctuary. Us. So he's going to begin at these people right here because that's all the Lord cares about. The Lord made a covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and he rested on Jacob. The Lord don't care about these other nations. He only cares about our nation. Now this Revelation 7 of 1, it says that after these days I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth Holding the four winds of the earth. The four winds, the four winds is destruction. You play destruction. Go ahead. That the wind should not blow on the earth, mm -hmm. nor on the yeah. sea, nor it's on any in. tree. Yep. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the zeal, the, the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea. Nor the trees, but we have sealed the servants of our power. They're hurt not the earth, nor the trees, nor the seas. We have sealed, we have sealed the servants of the living power. His name is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh. Shah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Revelation 7 and 4, and I heard the number of them 
which were sealed, and the word sealed 140 and 4,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. All the tribes of children of Israel. These people, these men and women on this sign right here. There's going to be 100, there's going to be 12,000 out of each one of these tribes. That's going to be the next uh, judges and rulers. Just the men. Yeah, God. 12,000. Of these, of these 12 men, there's going to be the next rulers and judges in, in, in Yahweh Shah's kingdom. You mean? God. Revelation 7 and 5, of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000, of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000, of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000, of the tribe of Asher were sealed 12,000, of the tribe of Naphtali were sealed 12,000, of the tribe of the tribe of Manasseh were sealed 12,000, of the tribe of Simeon were sealed 12,000, of the tribe of Levi were sealed 12,000, of the tribe of Issachar were sealed 12,000, of the tribe of Zebulon were sealed 12,000, of the tribe of Joseph were sealed 12,000, of the tribe of Benjamin were sealed 12,000. So I could keep going? Con, so Revelation 7 and 9, and after this I beheld and lo, a great multitude, mm -hmm. which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne mm -hmm. and before the Lamb clothed, clothed with white robes, and palms of their hands. Yeah, and that word, that word, uh, nation, is ethno. Somebody get that, pull it up in the blue letter. Because yeah. people, it's a misconception out there that when when you go to that verse right there, it's speaking about all the other people. When, but when you go into the word nation, it's ethnos, tribe. Yeah, and you go you go into the word kindred too. Yep. Yeah. So uh, on, let's pull it up real quick. Um, because this salvation is only for the the, yeah, so the elect of Israel. Not for no other nation. Yeah. You know, uh, we the only ones that went through these curses, living in these ghettos, single parent homes, uh, prison industrial complex. Everybody, you know, uh, living off, off off our dead bones. So we're the only ones that's going to be delivered because we're the only ones that need deliverance. You know, all these other nations can go back to their own homeland where they got sovereignty, where they got liberty. You know, they, their women are in order. So they don't need what they what they need deliverance from. Yeah, so you got ethnotes mm -hmm. going into a multitude of individuals of the same nature. A, mul or, a multitude of indi individuals from the same nation. What? Or Guinness. Oh, geez. Uh it says also um you got a tribe, a nation, a people or group. Yeah. Um, yeah. These men, it, these yeah. men, these men, women, and children from this nation are the only ones that's going to be delivered when Yahweh Shah crack, crack these clouds. Because prophecies are, are jumping off the page. You know, uh, it's wars and rumors of wars. You know, the, the financial system is uh is, is in a red. It's, 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 it can't uh, rehabilitate it, or it can't save it. It's, it's through. You know, the, the petrol dollar was once uh held in high esteem over the whole globe. You know, we now we have something called the BRICS, uh, uh, Brazil, Russia, India, uh, China, and, uh, and, and South Africa, you know, uh, formed their own money system that's backed by gold. And we have all these other uh, countries that's applying for, uh, to be, for, applying for membership. Saudi Arabia, yep. Indonesia, Argentina, yep. Egypt, and uh, Iran. Yeah, once they're approved, then what that means is the, uh, the American dollar is going to collapse. Well, the American dollar is going to collapse, but the thing of it is, is even though that's the supposed uh, East Coast opposition to the West Coast exactly. hegemon, they're all aiming for the same goal, yep. which is for that mm -hmm. digital dollar. Yep. They're really all a part of the same agenda. Yep. Um, that's why you'll have what China is already got them smart cities in place. They already have a social credit score. You had this clown Trudeau out in Canada, Prime Minister for Canada, praising the policies and the structure of uh, the Chinese government. Right? Russia, they've been had the RFID microchip circulated within their economy. As a matter of fact, they use that technology to uh, board certain public transportation. That's how you know that all these nations, as it is written, all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, shall receive a mark. So you know it's actually 
a uh, conspiracy, mm -hmm. right? Fact that these nations are all gearing up to that digital currency and digital system, that B system, okay? Even though there is going to be uh, intervention by the Mosai to put it in them nations for war, they're all gearing up to get the uh, get out in front of that new system. That's what it is. Whether it's through BRICS, okay, whether it's through uh, NATO and the EU, they're all converging into a digital system, okay? It was just like transferring it. And that's why it's like it, brother. I said conspiracy. Why? Because when you go into Psalms, the 64th chapter, and Psalms, the second chapter, it tells you why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? What do they imagine that's vain? Is that this system is going to converge into that digital system where a small group of collective individuals, primarily Edomites, and then you have the lesser nations that will come up underneath that system, and they'll continue to rule. That's a vain thing. Because the, 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 the whole earth is in desperate need of new rulership and management. Yeah. And that's the elect coming up into the, into the place and their rightful, uh, being rightful heirs to the throne, okay, under the kingdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, because that's the next rulership. Not BRICS, not China, all right? Not these other nations, but they are collectively coming together for prophecy's sake. But the thing of it is, is these nations are too invested in the petrodollar for the petrodollar to just singly collapse. So because of that dependency on that petrodollar, when this system finally does, these other nations are going to go down with it. Why? Because it's a collective conversion to that digital system. It's not the dollar going to go down and all these nations are going to come up. No, because they're all aiming for that same end. Just to add on to your point. Yeah, your Revelation 13. That's the end goal, Revelation 13, 15 on down. Start at 15. So, when I, so my, no matter what currency individual countries are using, they're all going to use the same technology to get to, the, to, get to their, their money. Revelation 13 and 15, and you have power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as will, will not worship the image of the beast shall be killed. Yeah. And he caused it all... Come on, come on. Revelation 13 and 15, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast shall both speak and cause that as many as will not worship the image of the beast the shall be killed. Economic policies, the image of the belief system, okay? All the philosophies that coincide with this new system that they want to ultimately implement okay total control under that new system that's going to be um dependent upon that c hip okay that's what they're going to institute as the new form of currency identity all right and everybody's going to be expected or rather should i say everyone is going to be given the choice as to whether or not they accept it. Okay? Now they're going to force it certain ways, but it's ultimately going to be up to you whether or not you accept it, which is why it said that as many as would not worship shall be what? Be put to, shall be killed, right? Because they have it where if you don't accept their chip, if you don't accept the mark, if you're not um, obedient to the image, you're not subject to their philosophies, okay, and their way of life that's attached to that, you're going to be killed. All right? And primarily, the main one that they're after is the Israelites, beginning with the hopeful elect, the ones who are specifically speaking out against it. The scriptures talk about um, not, not a, what's the scripture in the Apocrypha about the incredulity? Not. Yeah, exactly. That's the scripture. That's, you know, a little brain fog right now, but that's a good scripture to couple with this one. Because that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to frustrate our purpose. And you could put two thirds in that category, but primarily it's the Edomites, right? That's why they're making all these damn laws about what you can talk about, what you can't talk about. You get on a platform, 
and you want to talk about certain things where they're uh, totally killing your channel. No, you can't talk about that though. You, you can't go into whether or not this adverse effects to our experimental poison. You, you can't talk about that. Or you can't talk about the sea yeah, here. Yeah, That's a conspiracy. That's disinformation. Right? And they're working constantly to make new uh, policies yeah, yeah. in order to restrain the truth. Or rather, should I say, constrain. Yep. Both. Okay? But it's not going to work. Because ultimately, the message is going out. It's gone out. It's gone out, and it's going to continue to go out. But read that. Uh, finish that up. Read. Re Revelation 13, 15. Oh, con. Revelation 13 and 15. And 15. Revelation 13 and 15. And you have power to give Im er, life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast shall both speak, and cause that as many as will not worship the image of the beast shall be uh, killed. Verse 16, and he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in the right hand. Yeah, he caused them all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a what? A mark in the right hand or in their forehead. A mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, when you do the research on the systems that's being set up today, you know, they have something uh, called, you know, the brain ship with uh, Elon Musk set up where it's going to make you be able to walk again make you be able to talk again so these technologies uh, are, are, are in place right now uh, to, to implement whenever whenever uh, the time is available whenever 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 that, that beast system uh, requires it to be imp implemented it's going to happen and, it's, and I believe they already started the human trials yeah, yeah this year right yeah, yeah. this year uh, but when you go into that word mark right there is a physical mark go into that word mark up the shop is a physical mark, and the mark we went, we were speaking about earlier, is a, is a spiritual mark. But this one is a physical mark, and they want to place in your right hand or in your forehead. Now, when you go to the Leviticus 19 and 27, somebody grab that real quick, Bubba Shaw. It's, uh, the Lord had, had placed uh, ordinances, you know, rules and regulations that, that you know us Israelite men and women and children are supposed to abide by, and these, this is one of the rules that we want to that we need to abide by in order to uh, escape the missiles. Yeah, it's uh, Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 28. It reads, uh, it says, And ye shall make no cut, uh, sorry, and ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, uh -huh. nor print any marks upon you. I am Yahweh. That's the Lord, that's the, that's the ordinance and the commandment from the Lord that we shouldn't place anything in our skin or any marks on us. So when they, when they, when they come to implement this, this system, this beast system, we got to deny it. The same way Sajak, Meshach, and Abednego uh, denied bowing to that, that physical statue back in Babylon, we have to deny, you know, this mark that's, that's coming in the near future. And they were aided, you know, when, when the king had persecuted them. And we're going to be aided when this uh, this present uh, ruler uh, persecute us, and it's, it's various scriptures in the, in, the, in, the, uh, in, in the scrolls, you know, I say for what, 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 whatsoever for what, so like it, what, let me get that joint. What, whatsoever was written for time was written for uh, learning. Romans chapter fifteen. Yeah, uh, yeah Romans chapter fifteen, in verse four. Mm -hmm. And it reads, it says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. And that's the yeah. hope that we have, that we're going to be, that's the patience and the, and the hope that we have, that we're going to be protected from, in, in that time when, we, when we're being persecuted for not taking that, you know, that, uh, that mark, that karagma. Go to somebody, go into that word real quick. That karagma. Uh, the word already mark, got you, got, you got it already? Yeah. Go into it. Gone. So the Greek word for mark within Revelation 13 and 16 is uh, karagma, yep. which means a scratch or etching, stamp as a badge of servitude. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. So when you take mark. that mark, what, what you're saying is that you, you're serving this, this current uh, beast system. That all your allegiance and your alliance belong to this, this, this present ruler. It don't rely, you're not relying on the Lord. You don't have no, no faith in the Lord. You don't think that the Lord is going to protect you, you know, when you're hungry. That's it.
it also says a stamp and a printed mark mm -hmm. of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as a badge of the followers of Antichrist. Going to that root word, it's Karats, right? Yeah, Karats. So the root word for karagma is crux, oh. that says a pale or stake, oh. Oh. a palisade. A little microchip, a pale or stake, that they want to insert in your right hand or on your forehead. As a, as a servitude, meaning that's, this is my Lord and Master, this is who I rely on to sustain me when, when, uh, when I'm in need. But we going, many of the Lord is going to rely on Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, you know, when our back's against the wall. Yeah, and I got the word for uh, Go ahead, bring it up. For us. So, it says Luke 19 and 43, mm -hmm. For the day shall come upon thee that thine enemies shall cast a trench about thee, yeah. and capacity round, capacity round, and keep thee on in on every side. Oh. Yeah, that word for trench is the same word as crux, which means uh, a pale or stake or a palisade. So, you know, in, in these times, it's going to be like the same thing. Esau is going to try to uh, compass the whole world, uh, mainly focusing on the elect of the nation, or really just the whole nation of Israel, because Esau wants to do away with the whole nation of Israel. So Esau is going to try to cast a, a trench about it. You know, trying to, to, try to make uh, basically the Karangma, the mark of the beast, mandated on the, on the earth. So you won't be able to participate in the society. You know, you won't be able to do nothing within society, buy food, buy water. You know, go uh, go anywhere, go to the store, unless you have that mark. That's written about in Revelation 13 and 16. And that right there is our temptation. Second Ezra 16 and 68. Is that something? Yeah. It's the uh, book of uh, Isaiah, chapter 30, and this is uh, verse 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord, Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me. Who are those rebellious children? These men and women on this time right here. They're stiff-necked and hard-hearted uh, people. So the most stiff-necked and hard-hearted people on the face of the earth are these men, women, and children on this time right here. Go ahead. It says that take counsel but not of me and that cover with a covering but not of my spirit and that covering when you, when you uh, accept that that chip that's the covering and it's not a, it's not a Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah so destruction unto you that you take that covenant go ahead it says well make that, that covenant that they may add sin to sin uh, that walk down to Egypt and have no axe uh, at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust the shadow of Egypt. Oh, you're trusting in the shadow of Egypt. You're leaning on that broken reed. Egypt is a broken reed. Everything about this place is, is an abominable. When you lean, when you, and when you lean on that system, you, you're showing your lack of faith. You know, and that, uh, that sin is sin. It's, it's, it's uh, iniquity. But Yep. It says, Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. Yeah, the strength of shadow, the strength of uh, trusting in, in Egypt is going to be your shame, because he don't have. It's a broken reed. You lean on a broken reed, you're going to fall right along with it. Pierced. But because the missiles is coming this way, and this we all here to do. We all in our ways in the byways to warn the elect of Israel that uh, it's time to go home. You know, we've been we've been in this place, for, you know, for, for hundreds of years, at the bottom, uh, in servitude. You know. Uh, Single parent households, drugs and infestation in our communities. It's time to go home. And we out here pushing this word with, with this truth, and knowledge, wisdom, understanding to those that have eyes and ears to hear and see, which is the elect. It's time to go home. The missiles is headed this way. And we are the seers. We can see it. And that's why we, we, uh, we've we been endowed with, 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 uh, with insight, with the eyes out to see, you know, the future. And the future is, is grim for this place, especially these people on this sign. The future 66.6 .6 of these people on this sign is, is, is going to have a violent death. Oh, he's for this. Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. Which, that those dead bodies are speaking about the Israelites. Go ahead. In America. Which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt. Which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt. This place is, is, is Sodom in Egypt on steroids. The same, the same things that it, uh, happened in, in Sodom and Gomorrah are happening here at, a, at an astronomical rate. The same things that happened in Egypt is happening here on an astronomical rate. It's spiritual Edom, uh, Egypt and Sodom. Go ahead. 
where also our Lord was crucified. Yeah, how was Yahweh was crucified here? He was asked out here. They, 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 they put some man up named uh, Jesus, which is which is which is uh, the fake name, fake image, and his his whole characteristic.